Hi, I'm Mark Porto, and this is another tech tip from Automotive Research and Design. Today we're taking a look at uh, the Toyota Prius on the high voltage components and where they're located on the vehicle. If you take a look down over here, you can see that this is the power inverter. And on the power inverter, you have three connections that we can see here. This is from the high voltage battery that feeds the power inverter. This is the connection to the generator, and this is the connection to the drive motor. The power inverter, uh, what it does, it converts uh, DC to AC to run the uh, two AC machines, electric machines, MG1 and MG2 here, uh, to uh, uh, power the vehicle. Then, of course, on the bottom of the power inverter, you have this unit here. This is the DC to DC converter. The DC to DC converter replaces the traditional alternator or generator on the vehicle. Uh, this unit here uh, can output over 100 amps to power the normal 12 volt electrical system on the vehicle. So this is on the bottom of the power inverter. Let's take a walk back to the back of the vehicle. And we can see back here that uh, in the back of the vehicle, uh, we have removed uh, areas back here in the hatch. So you can see that this is the high voltage battery here. And then if you look over here, here's the ductwork that is uh, uh, coupled with the cooling fan over here. We actually uh, uh, pull some air through the battery pack to keep it cool. This is a forced air system. Then over here, this is the manual disconnect right here, and that is used uh, to disable the high voltage system. So when you're servicing the vehicle, uh, you can uh, make sure that the system is safe. The Toyota Prius has something called a distributed high voltage system, which means that you have high voltage components around the entire vehicle. And we're gonna take a look at a Honda Civic here shortly that has what we call a centralized high voltage system. So let's go take a look at that one right now.